Hello everyone, welcome back to Spiritual Essence, and today I'm going to teach you how to help spirits cross over. Now, is that something within our capabilities? Yes, it is, but not everyone has the know-how for that. It's not like it's taught anywhere. So that's why I'm here, to help teach you guys. Now, while you can't cross over demons or poltergeists, there are a lot of people out there who are being haunted by human spirits. And they don't know how to get rid of them. And so a lot of them suffer. A lot of uh, videos on YouTube of people who document the activity, not for attention, necessarily. They don't do it to, you know, get popularity. They do it to get help. Not everyone wants popularity. And um, now I've seen quite a bit, like on uh, Nuke's Top Fives, great channel. If you haven't seen it, look it up. He does all kinds of spooky videos. And a lot of people send him videos where they're going through stuff. Now it's a shame I can't comment on all of them and just say, hey, if you need help, I'm here. Because, of course, by the time I watch them, some of them are like years old, so... That That's not really something I can help. If I were to try and help everyone on YouTube who had like a ghost video. I, I'm just one person. I would be totally over my head. But for those who watch my channel. And uh, if anyone knows anyone who could use this channel. Send them my way. And I'd like to help you. So there's a lot of spirits who choose not to cross over, whether it be because they still feel like they need to do something, unfinished business, or they're afraid of crossing over into a place called hell where they could, you know, suffer forever. Or they're afraid of what's on the other side because it's not exactly what they'd hoped. And others, they want to stay behind because they still believe like it's their house. And you're intruding, even though they're dead. So, <clears throat> you can't always help spirits. Some are set in their ways. I would suggest if they don't, you know, want to cross over, prayer. A lot of prayer. Help them see the light. At least try. Pray for them. And if they're causing you trouble, then get them out, you know, force them out. Sometimes you have to do that. But for the reasonable spirits, some people actually coexist with spirits when they're not really causing harm. Some actually have like a, the boundaries set, but that's not everyone. That's, that's a minority there. Um, and for those people, you know what, then if they're not causing you trouble and you don't, you know, or you're not bothered by them. And you guys have like a, your boundaries set. Then there's no need to worry. But if it's causing you trouble, then try to help them out. So what do you do? <clears throat> okay, so. A circle of salt, or at least a magic circle. This can be, it doesn't have to be salt. It can be a circle of blessed water. It can be a circle of uh, blessed candles. Or it could even be a boundary of crystals that have been charged with a certain energy. As long as it is charged with some sort of protective energy. Because this allows you a safe space for the crossing over ceremony. Especially because in some houses, some have like good spirits that are mingling with bad spirits. And these bad spirits, if they see you trying to cross over um, spirits who want to cross over, then they might try to attack you and interrupt you because they don't want to be alone. So this creates a boundary for the spirits who want to cross over to enter safely without being interrupted and trespassed on by these evil spirits. Now, so... Some meditation is in order. You're going to want to get meditation to focus your energy. Let it rev up. 
and, you know, just say, if there are any spirits in this house who wish to cross over, please come into the circle. And you may feel them enter the circle by like a cold chill. You may feel their presence. Your hair might stand on end. Uh, <clears throat> then say, you are no longer alive. You must go where you belong. You must go back with your loved ones, your friends, your family. Look up and look for the light. Now, in your mind, envision a hole opening up in the ceiling that's dropping down rays of heavenly light. And make it a decent sized hole, like huge. And um, now just say, Go towards the light, go forth into heaven, and be with your loved ones. Continue your spiritual path, and you'll feel it if they go. The cold chill will be gone, you won't feel their energies, and all will be calm. And, you know, <clears throat> negative spirits are a different breed entirely. So if you're trying to work on crossing over an angry spirit, one that, you know, anger has just filled their entire being, and they're not going to go willingly. So at that point, make the magic circle. And I would suggest cleansing the area that has the most activity. Well, now that I think of it, cleanse the whole house, of course. Just make that part the last part. The area with the most uh, activity, kind of enclose them in. Make sure that you, they can't leave. Now, I know this, this may sound like entrapment, but you, I mean, you are trying to help them. <clears throat> Within the room that has the most activity... I would put uh, quartz crystals in the four corners of the room so that they would absorb any negative energy that the spirit has. You can also have sage and sage the room too. You can have uh, blessed incense or, you know, holy candles other than what's in your magic circle. Just put them in the four corners of the room so that they absorb the negative energy from this being. Now, envision this spirit doesn't even have to enter the, it, it won't enter the magic circle because of the negativity. So, focus on the spirit and pray for them. Just pray. And as you're praying for them, envision all the negativity that's in their body as like this dark mass around them. And then it's just slowly disappearing the longer you do the prayer. And when the prayer is finished and you see them no longer as these dark beings, summon the heavenly light, make the hole in the ceiling, and pray for them that they may go into the light, be reunited with their friends and loved ones, and that they may complete their spiritual journey. Now this may work, this may not work, depending on how angry the human spirit is. And if it does not work, then you may have to force them out because um, you live in your house. You are the one who owns that house now and they are the trespassers now, even though they might not see it that way. So you may have to force them out, but one cannot be faulted for trying. And um, you cannot force spirits to go toward the light they have to want to um these techniques that i've taught you with the quartz crystals to absorb the negative energy praying for them will help uh get rid of a lot of the negative energy that's weighing them down that's keeping them there and help them see clarity because some people when they die 
and they have tons of negative energy still stuck in their spirits, they cannot see clearly. They may think they're still alive. They may think that you are the trespasser in their home. So prayer will help them see the light, literally, and help them see clarity and know that they are not supposed to be there anymore. They have died. They need to move on. So that is how you would cross over a spirit. It cannot be forced. They have to want to, but these are the techniques that you can do to help cross over a spirit. Now, if you are forcing them out when you are cleansing the house with sage, leave the, uh, leave the windows open. A window in each room, that way as the smoke is going out, the spirits will most likely follow and leave. But when you are trying to help them, close all the windows. And that's why I say save the room in the house that has the most activity for last because that's going to be their safe space. That's going to be the space that they're most comfortable in. So once you cleanse each space of the house, they're going to go into their safe space and hide. And that's where you got them. Now, if it does not work, you can't force them. So you just have to force them out. It may seem bad. It may seem like, you know, hey, they're, they may be spirits, but they're people too. Well, sometimes that's what you have to do if you can't make peace with them or you can't help them move on. If you have any questions about this, maybe something that I forgot to mention, or uh, if you're dealing with a spirit in your house, and you would like some help, please uh, contact me down in the comments or uh, my email that is associated with my channel. I believe I have it. Let me check. I believe I did an email for this channel. Uh, let's see. Da, 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 da. Ah, yes. So the channel that is associate, uh, the email that is associated with this channel is capital V, lowercase s a m a z i n g. So amazing, three thirty four at outlook.com. So if you don't want to discuss everything down in the comments and just air your laundry out in public, I understand. Please email me or contact me on Twitter. And my Twitter is uh, at Immortal7599. You can contact me on there if you need any help, and I will do my best to help you. I won't judge you. There's a lot of people going through this, a lot of people going uh, with issues with ghosts in their house or evil spirits. And even if you feel like there's a more demonic entity involved, uh, or a poltergeist, which is a different entity from a human spirit. I can help you with those as well, at least to the best of my abilities. You know, I will do everything I can to help. So reach out to me if you are having these problems. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell button so you don't miss any of my future uploads. And have a good day, everyone.